So here we go, Franklin with the home dark blue navy, light blue trim, white helmets and white socks and the boxers of Brockton in the traveling white with crimson trim and Brockton has won the toss and they've deferred their choice to the second half. So Franklin will get this one started. What, I need the... What, what's your name? Matt Nelson. Yeah. Matt? Matt. Oh, I, Matt. I, I, I'm yeah. sorry. He needs a roster too. Okay. So we're underway and Franklin gets the kick returned out to the 36. Franklin will have it first and 10 as they'll go left to right on your television screen. And we're also uh, ready to go with Franklin with the first possession as they took the uh, kickoff and they took it out to the 36 on the Pacheco run. Franklin, six and two looking to keep the momentum going. They have it, the first possession of the game. Brockton showing blitz. Gasparro is gonna throw to Nally at the 35 to the 36 Jack yard Nally line. He come up to the yard uh, of scrimmage and that's about it. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how Franklin's first drive goes here. Because remember, last game, it was 0-0 at the half. They didn't really get it clicking until the second half. But a strong start offensively tonight would be huge for them in this game. Second down and 10 for the Panthers. Opening drive. Jake Davis in motion. Gasparro with a long count. This is to left for Nally over his hands, off of his fingertips. I gotta imagine, uh, Sam, that ball might feel like a, a pound of bricks coming at you in this cold weather. I really bet so. I, I, yeah, I know. I, this is these temperatures. It's very cold. That will definitely play a factor tonight. It's not going to be easy throwing the ball if you're Thomas Gasparo, but we'll see how he does. Third and ten coming up. Temperatures in the high 20s at the moment and dropping. Gasparo, the screen pass and a lot of pressure there. <clears throat> and what a start for Brockton on defense as they forced the Panthers to go three and out. And Franklin, uh, quite frankly, Sam, they really looked out of sync in their first possession. Yes, they really have. And you know, they'll have to punt it off now on fourth down. Brockton's defense showing blitz so most Trey of the Hall year. They love the there. dime package as well, which we and, didn't see uh, on the first drive. Cody Trotten yep. steps forward and booms at a low kick. It's gonna take a Franklin bounce and be rolled dead inside the 30 yard line to about the 27. So Cody Trotton gets the nice roll and Franklin will go on defense, Brockton on offense for the first time. Yeah, Brockton offense, there's two guys to watch, Amik Watterson, Isaiah Laguerre. Running back, wide receiver uh, respectively. Devontae Medley, a dual threat quarterback as well. He might decide last minute to just split up and he's a speedy guy as well. So that's something that the linebackers of, of the Panthers are gonna have to look, deal with as well tonight. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be a big test for the Franklin defense. I'm sure about that. We'd like to welcome Matt Nelson to our telecast. He's from Brockton. He'll be joining us here and that's the third voice you hear. A keeper by Medley and wedges it out across the 30 for a nice pickup on first down. And another thing the boxers like to do on offense, they rarely have more than just two people in the backfield. They love to spread the offense, go four wide, five wide. You'll see a lot of screen passes and a lot of pitches out to Watterson on the side. They're gonna give Medley a, a pickup of six yards on the play. It's second and four. Medley last game against Newton North threw for 259 yards, yeah. three TD <laughs> passes, but they also had a ground game that rushed for over 300. Yep, they can do it all. Second down and four for Brockton. Ooh, someone jumped. And yep. a whistle and a pre-snap penalty here is gonna be called against uh, the Panthers. So that's gonna be enough for a first down. The referee tonight is Bobby Esposito, the man in the white hat, first and 10 for Brockton. Yeah, Franklin can't afford to commit penalties like those. In, in a big game like this, playoff South semifinals, penalties can be costly, and Franklin's D has to be really disciplined, especially on this opening drive for Brockton. Brockton has it at their own 38, just the start of it. 
Division I South semifinals. The winner moves on. The loser continues to play, but they'll be out of the playoff picture. First and 10 for the boxers. Medley, he's gonna throw right. He's got a bullseye out there on the right flat. And that's good to Devin Fortes. And Fortes picks up uh, a nice little gain across the 40 to about the 45, 44 yard line. Pickup of seven. And if the boxers game plan stays true to what we've seen so far this year, Devin Fortes, usually a cornerback or an outside safety on the defensive end. He likes to play both ways, and he's really the fourth or fifth option that Devontae Medley has on offense. Second and seven, handoff up the middle. Franklin there, good defense for the Panthers, but falling forward, it looked like it might have been Watterson. Pickup of about two, third down and a long two coming up. Yeah, a nice play there by the Franklin defense. Now they gotta make a stop here on third down. And we'll see what Brockton elects to do here on third and short. Third and three, call it. They respotted at the 45 and a half yard line. Brockton's opening possession. No score from Franklin High School. Medley is gonna keep it. He's met at the line of scrimmage. He's gonna go down for no gain. A quarterback keeper by Medley. And it's fourth and three. We'll see what coach Peter Colombo chooses to do with the Brockton High Boxers. Yeah, it's, it seems like that might have been offsides there on Brockton, but nothing was called, so they will It looks will like the to. punt team is coming in. Yep, Luke Sweeney making a nice tackle there for the Panthers, and that's a big defensive stop. Now their offense will get the ball back. Let's see if they can actually do something with it second time with the ball. Fourth and three. Kevin McCarthy, the Brockton punter, he's got a good leg on him. And McCarthy boots it all the way down inside the 20 for the Panthers. Taken across the 20, nearly to the 25, goes the Franklin return man that looked like Owen Palmieri, or is it Gullah? Uh, let's check that for the Panthers. Galveston's vote, sorry, Michael Curry's punt. By Michael Griffin, Michael Griffin was the ball, the kick the returner, ball. and he took it out to the 25 yard line. Franklin's second possession, they went three and out the first time around. And now they're backed up at their own 25. They had it at the 36 the first time. Gasparro will hand it off. Palmieri got some daylight, and he cracks it up near the 30. Owen Palmieri for about four to the 30 yard line, second and six for Franklin. Yeah, Owen Palmieri is gonna have to have a nice game tonight. You know, we know Franklin's good in the passing game, but they gotta have that second option and Owen Palmieri is the guy that needs to so come up big tonight. That's Franklin's first positive yardage of the game. Gasparro's gonna yeah. throw, he's got a completion to Lazaric across the 35. It's gonna be close for the first down and it looks like he's got it. Yep, he does have it. First, first down of the night from Franklin. And hopefully that can be a start to the nice drive for them. Quick release and a nice catch as well by Lazaric. Franklin's first, first down. And the Panthers have it at their own 35 and a half yard line. Seven minutes to go in the first quarter. We're scoreless. Cutters all over the place. The inside handoff to the line of scrimmage, and maybe a yard Palmieri goes Owen Palmieri, and that's it. The defense, Matt, looking pretty strong here for Brockton. They've seen it all this year, so they've kind of built a game plan to be able to handle short passes, little up the gut runs. They got burned on a, a fake run uh, similar to a reverse like that against Natick earlier in the season, and the Brockton defense has learned from that. Second down and nine for Franklin from their own 36. Inside handoff again. Palmieri crosses the 40 to the 41. So it'll be third down and five for Franklin at their own 41 yard line. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what Franklin do here on a third and medium situation. I wouldn't be surprised if they threw the ball here, but we'll see. Third down and five. Midway through the first period, we're scoreless. Gasparro, cutters flying through. He's going deep for ah. Davis, too strong. He had a step on his defender, Jake Davis, but the ball 
was thrown a little bit too strong, and that might have been the pressure on Gasparro to cause him to release a little too early. Yeah, I think I think it was a big factor. Brockton putting the pressure on Gasparro. We've saw it all season long, Gasparro to Davis. Just a little bit of an overthrow there, but we know Gasparro has an arm downfield as well. Trey Siula Hall is back deep to return this punt from Cody Trotton. Siula Hall, Siula Hall Shula. a high kick. And Seoul Hall will let it bounce. And it's going to take another Franklin roll. And they get it down to the 23-yard line. Brockton will have it for the second time. So far, it's been a defensive struggle. It has, yep. Second possession coming up for the boxers. And they have it at their own 23. Devontae Medley is the quarterback. He's a junior. Out wide on the left is Trey Siula Hall. First and 10 for the boxers. 542 to go in the first. And you see this is the setup that they like, right? Trips to the far side, five wide. Amik Watterson and Isaiah Laguerre to the near side. Trey Siula Hall, a weapon over the middle as well. Here's Watterson. Medley throws on the left side. He's got a completion to Amid Watterson. And Watterson stays in bounds after a nice pickup of about seven on the play. Second down and three coming up for the boxers. The boxers definitely want to get Amik Watterson going. Of course, four touchdowns last week against Newton North. That was the story coming out of that game. He did miss time earlier in the season, including most of the Everett game with a concussion. So that's okay. something to keep an eye on as well. Yes, definitely. Second down and three, Watterson in motion. But Medley keeps it and wedges it out to the 33. He's going to be very close. Yeah, I think is. he's going to be a half a yard shy of the yard to gain. It'll be third down and about a foot. Yeah, just barely short. And, you know, this is one of those games, state tournament, south semifinals, where it, you have a feeling it's going to be up to the defenses to kind of control where this game goes. And despite both of these teams' offenses really uh, being re being really effective all season long, they both have pretty good defenses as well. And we're seeing that here in the first quarter. Third down and a foot for, for the boxers. Everybody in tight. And somebody jumped. What's the call? It's gonna Esposito be false start. is going to call a false start against Brockton. And they'll move him back five. Yeah. We were talking, I was talking about earlier how Franklin can't afford to, to uh, commit penalties like those. Brockton can't either. That was a third and very short situation, third and one. Now they'll be moved back. That's huge for the Franklin Panthers. Third down and six. The ball is back to the 27, the yard to gain, the 33. Four minutes, two seconds left in the scoreless first quarter. Watch to the outside, big number 11, the tight end, Navon Reed. He's been a top target of Devontae Medley as well. Medley throws it on the right side, too strong, and it's incomplete. Intended out on the right side for Isaiah Laguerre. Laguerre is a good one. He had a good game against Newton North last game, but he stopped there. The ball was too strong, and it went beyond Laguerre. And the boxers are back in punt formation. McCarthy back in punt formation for the boxers. Ooh, that's now oh my. It's a low snap, but nobody was charging. Oh, at least, and McCarthy yeah. had more time than he thought he did, but this time Nally will let it roll, and it takes a good Brockton roll. That is, I don't think uh, McCarthy knew he had so much time to get that punt off. We're kicking off the giving season, right? Early November. If Franklin had even rushed one guy, that's a whole different scenario. Instead, McCarthy gets off a spinning kick end over end, takes a huge Brockton bounce all exactly. the way down to the 31-yard line. Yeah, I was just going to say, considering uh, how bad that could have been to get it all the way back to around the 31-yard line, that, that's the best case scenario for Brockton in that situation. You know, you said it, Franklin, had a, if they had one guy there, they would have had the ball. First and 10 right from their own 30 come the Panthers on their third possession of the quarter. Hand off inside to Palmieri to the line of scrimmage, and he Palmieri falls forward for, for about two. one or two to about the 33-yard line. 
Yeah, so far Palmieri not able to do to do much yet. He's he's looking for that for that uh, block that where he can really find that gap and come out with a big run and maybe that's the spark the Panthers need here on offense. Lima on the stop for the boxers. 309 left. No score first period. Gasparo throws a little outlet pass to Davis, puts a move on it to the 38 and he's spun down at the 38 yard line. He's gonna be shy of the yard to gain by about three and it should be third down and three. Yeah, Jake Davis had an incredible game a week ago against Attleboro in the quarterfinals. And if he has a big night tonight, then Franklin will, will be in good hands because we know what he's capable of. He can put on moves like those. Here's the play, third down and three. Ball at the 38. Gasparro back, backs off and looks over to the sideline. Gets a signal from the coaching staff. And now he checks out the defense. Inside handoff. Griffin, I believe, to the 40. He's going to be shy of the yard to gain. No, it's Paul Mary. It's going to be fourth down and one. Decision time for coach Ian Bain and he's gonna send the punt team out there. Yeah, I don't really blame them here. Still nothing, nothing. Yes, you're up to your own 40, but you don't wanna really risk anything here. I, I, I agree with this decision to punt it off, and you can kinda pin Brockton further back as well. Franklin, a little late getting a player onto the field. He resets. And the snap back to Cody Trotton. He puts a big leg nice into this kick. one. He booms Great it inside one. the 20. It's gonna tip at the 15, the 12, the 12 yard line. Cody Trotton, that time Sammy got tremendous height. I don't know if the wind helped it, but he boomed it downfield. Yeah, extraordinary punt there from Trotton. I said they had an opportunity to kind of pin them back. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. That is a great punt from Franklin, and I think the decision pays off to punt it off. Well, we've had five possessions in this game. Neither team has done much other than a first down on either side. That's been it. Yep. But the big punt flips the field down deep into Brockton territory at their own 13-yard line. 1.32 to go in the first quarter. We're scoreless. Devontae Medley, the junior quarterback, will fake the handoff and keep it and cuts it in for a big pickup. Look at him go across wow. the 25 to the 28-yard line. First down for Brockton. And that's the Brockton special, yards after initial contact. You see it with Watterson anytime he touches the ball. Devontae Medley good at the escape ability as well. He gets about seven or eight yards after initial contact on that run. Nice play by Medley, he's gonna go to the air this time, airing it out on the left side. He's got a man out there on a beautiful catch. That's Trey Shula Hall once again. The, the Boxers has a plethora of offensive weapons. Shula Hall is always the third or fourth look behind Isaiah Laguerre and Amik Watterson. A beautifully thrown ball to Shula Hall. He just kept it and got it in in full stride. Yep. Franklin penetrates, uh, Brockton penetrates Franklin territory. Oh, and my. Franklin jumps offside. Yeah, it's Austin offside Jordan. On Franklin, five yard so it'll be first down and five for the boxers. They'll take it inside the Franklin 40 to the 39. <laughs> yeah, Austin Jordan just jumping the gun a little too early there. So a good break for Brockton. They have it first and five from the Franklin 39. Medley sends two wide to each side of the field. From the spread formation, looking right, throwing right, deep on the right side, got a man out there, what a catch at the 10 yard line, hauled in there by Devin Forts. Wow, yeah, that was, that was a great catch. And you know, we're already seeing that Medley has an arm. <laughs> He loves those floating out to the outside. Just throw them up, throw them up, let the receivers do their jobs. And if he starts rolling to the outside to Navon Reed, Devin Forts, Trey Shula Hall, watch out because then they're going to hit you with Amik Watterson inside on the run. 
And that play, the nice uh, completion to Forts, will end the first quarter. We've played 12 minutes, the South sectional semifinals. You score after one from Franklin High School. The Panthers nothing, the Boxers nothing. Nelson, right? Okay. We're just verifying, making sure. Thanks. Yep. So we get ready to start the second quarter. Pete Royce, Sam Reese, and Matt Nelson with you from Franklin's Piscini Stadium. First down and goal. They spot it at the 10. First and goal for the Bo Brockton Boxers. Looking to get on the board first here tonight. Medley, little screen pass. Daylight on the left side Meek going Watterson. all the way in for the touchdown is Mick Watterson for 10 yards and the score. Brockton's leading scorer showing his versatility there, coming out out of the backfield, man in motion, just on the screen pass by Medley, A to B, straight line into the end zone for a touchdown. Brockton showing that they can keep it simple as well as the crazy outside passes that we saw on the big gainers on that drive. And here's the extra point. Ball is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. It took six seconds in the first quarter for the boxers to get on the board, and at this point they lead it seven to nothing. If you're Franklin, you gotta start stopping the Devontae Medley to a Meek Watterson matchup because if that gets rolling, watch out. As we saw last week, it took a little while for that machine to get rolling. But when it did, Amik Watterson ended the day with four consecutive touchdowns. Absolutely. And yeah, we're already seeing that Brockton has plenty of weapons. So do Franklin. But Franklin has to respond because, you know, they got the likes of Palmieri in the running game. And then they also got Davis, Nally, Lakatos, and Lazaric. Those guys need to get going here on this drive because Brockton showed what they can do. It was Marcelo Tenorio with the kick. He was a perfect Last week against Newton North, he booms that one through. Here's the Brockton kickoff. Yeah, Franklin right. takes it at the 15. One, this is Nally across the 20, across the 25. Wow. Nally puts a move on it and goes down at the 30-yard line. A nice little return, a little bit of uh, north and south, a little bit of east and west action, but he does wedge it out to the 30. Yep, nice footwork. Had a chance to get a little more, but it was a nice tackle in the end. But you know, now that Brockton has scored a touchdown, this is the drive that the Franklin offense really needs to get going or else. So they you know. have it for the fourth time and not much to show offensively yet tonight. And okay. they're now trailing it seven to nothing. Gasparro sends three wide to the right. Looks right, he's got the Completion to Nally across the 30, across the 35, across the 40 to the 44 yard line flag goes Jack Nally. And there's a flag thrown in right at the end of that play, guys. Yeah, we'll see who this is on. It came from behind the play, so you think that it's holding some sort. Face mask. It's gonna be a face mask against Brockton. So that's going to move the ball upfield. Let's see how much they walk off here. It's a five-yard face mask, so the, the old inadvertent face mask, not yeah. the intentional one. Uh -huh. And the Panthers have it at the 49-yard line, first and 10. Well, that's just about the best start to the drive you could possibly have for Franklin, a first down and a penalty on top of that to move them to around midfield. Ball at the 49, very early on, first minute of the second quarter. Pitch to Nally. He cuts it back and he gets tackled high across the 50 to about the 47 yard line. Pick up of four for Nally, it's second down and six for the Panthers. Yeah, I liked how Nally had a little hesitation there to pick up 
uh, you know, a couple of yards on the play. It was a nice tackle in the end. Now second and six. Davis out wide right. Lakatos on the left. They're going to hand it off inside to Palmieri. He wedges it through be inside the 45-yard line to the 44. They'll have a third down and three for the Panthers. Third and three for Franklin from the 44. Yeah, interesting decision to be made here because, yes, it's third and three, but the running game hasn't been all too successful so far. Meanwhile, the passing game seems to be getting going. We'll see. Third down and three. Gasparro wants to throw. He yeah. does deep for He's Davis. Got He's got it at the 20, at the 10 yard line. Inside the 10, first and 10 for the Panthers. Well, that's exactly what the Panthers needed. Brockton made a big play on their drive. Now Franklin make a big play. And who but Jake Davis making the run down this left sideline. Incredible throw from Gasparo too. Franklin not afraid to throw the ball on third down situations They're like gonna those. set it up at the eight. First and goal for Franklin. Quick huddle, handoff again. Left side, going through He's Stanley in. for the touchdown. Well, how about that? Look what a big play can do. Just uh, three or four plays on the drive and a big time pass down to Jake Davis on the sideline. And now the momentum on Franklin's side. They're right back into it. What a response by the Panthers. Really Here's was. Parker Chevron to try to tie the game up off the Davis hold. Snap, rather Donahue hold. The kick is up and we have a tie game. 9.54 left in the second quarter. You score now, Franklin seven and Brockton seven. That was a Johnny Horn going back to that big pass down the sideline. A Johnny Horn getting burned in coverage. Your receiver, Jake Davis, was uh, about five yards behind any boxer defender, and that's yeah. one thing the boxers have had a weakness, especially when they take a lead, is they fall into a, a comfortability because of the so many offensive weapons. The defense kind of plays down when there's a when there's a boxer lead. Franklin moved it down, aided by that inadvertent face mask. That was five yards, but the big play was the, the long pitch to Davis, and then the run by Nally, and the Parker Chevron kick ties it up at seven. 9.54 left in the first half. We're tied at seven. First quarter was pretty silent, but then two quick scores here in the second. Here's the Franklin kick. It's gonna go inbound, no, out of bounds. Uh, it just barely went out of bounds. bounds and seven yard line. just hugged the far sideline and rolled out of bounds. The referee was right there, Bobby Esposito. And the boxer hauled it in out of bounds. And this is a big penalty against Franklin. That's good. And they're gonna they're gonna have them re-kick. That's an interesting call. Mm. They're gonna have Franklin re-kick from the 35. Wow. That was a good move by Meek Watterson down there, who was back to return. I too thought he touched it in bounds and he was gonna return it, but it was just maybe six inches yeah, out of play over the line. Awfully close, I know it. So Franklin will reboot it this time from the 35. The boxers should get excellent field position. They should. Coach Peter Colombo wanting the re-kick, and he gets it. And here's the Franklin kickoff. It's a driving kick, and a penalty is going to be an offside call. Uh -huh. Offside so call out of the end zone. on Franklin. Oh, That's going to back him up another oh, five. It was a booming kick. That was a it nice was. line drive straight to the end zone. Yeah. It was a great kick, unfortunately, coming back for Franklin. A really odd sequence here. We had a penalty originally, now offsides on the second kick. How about a third time, Pete? Yep, we will do it a third time. Shane Drake, uh, rather Jake O'Brien, is the one doing the kicking honors. This time from the 30. We'll see if he can do it again. <laughs> he boomed the last one. And you can see it with the respect that the boxers return men are giving him because they're yeah. still standing all the way back at the 10 yard line. Good point. Yeah. So 9.53 to go, we'll do it again. Here it comes, the kick. A high spinning end over end. It's gonna send the boxers down to the seven. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 34, 35 yard line. 
So Drake had a good kick, but it was returned nicely by the boxers. It was returned by Watterson out to the 35. We are tied at seven. Yeah, it was a nice return there. Brockton in nice field position to start the drive. I hope that Franklin's head coach realizes what a blessing he's got in your kicker because that's rare in high school to have somebody with a leg as good as that to kick off from the 30 and still get it to go all the way back to the seven yard line. Here's Medley with the screen pass. It's complete in the backfield and the runner takes it across the 35 to about the 38 yard line. Goes to Watterson again. Amik Watterson picks up four on the play, second down and six. Clock moving, nine minutes and 21 seconds to go in the period. We're tied at seven after two second quarter scores. Here's Medley with the pitch. Watterson comes across the 45. He should have a first down for the boxers. Yeah, he has it. Yeah, great decision by Medley to pitch it off there because he was coming under pressure, but he pitched it off and it results in a first down for the boxers as well. First down and 10 for Brockton from their own 46. Medley looks at the coaching staff on the far side. Three wide to the left, two to the right, empty backfield for Medley. He takes it up the middle to midfield and goes down there after a pickup of about three or four for Devontae Medley. Devontae Medley with the carry, pick up a three on the play. Second down and seven for the boxers. Just a yard shy of midfield. Seven nothing in the first quarter. Medley oh. throws, he's got the completion inside the 50 and falling forward was the That's ball the carrier, Navon Reed. And Reed takes it to the 45. The fifth different name we've heard on reception yeah. from Devontae Medley tonight. Yep, Medley took a big hit there from Austin Jordan after he released that pass as well. He seems to be all right, which is a good sign for Brockton. Third down and one for the boxers. Oh. Franklin jumped offside again. It's Jordan again too. I mean, the, the emotions are so high. Yep. Jordan wants to make the play and he gets across the line and it's a five yarder and an automatic first down for Brockton to the Franklin 40. Well, let's see if things hold true here. The last two drives has been a penalty in the middle of the field that's led to a first down and obviously both teams scoring touchdown on those drives. Yep. First down in 10. Medley, he's gonna swing it out to Watterson, to the line of scrimmage maybe, and he's taken down by three tacklers for the Panthers. They're marking him a yard no shy. No gain on the play. Yeah, actually a loss of one. Yep, great job by the Franklin defense there. They were ready for that. Nice execution on the tackle. Second down and 11 from the 41. Brockton with the ball. On second and long, two wide to each side of the field. Quarterback draw, and Franklin stuffs, snuffs it out, and they take him down, they take Medley down for the loss on the play. That's exactly what the Franklin Luke defense Cunningham needed. led the way. A big time sack there, and let's be honest, Medley had nothing else to do. He just needed to take it. That's one thing we've been able to pick apart in Brockton's offense this season. When Devontae Medley has a back behind him ready to take off, he has trouble handing the ball off and actually committing to giving it to another person. Loss of six, third down and 17. The ball at the 47, need to take it to the Franklin 30. 17 yards to go, Medley, the rush is on, oh. he dumps it off, it's complete, but being a beautiful tackle there by Evan Wirtz. Wirtz with the ball, one on one with the offensive player and he brings him down. Another loss of one, fourth down and 18. What happened to the offensive line? <laughs> they disappeared on that play. I mean, I was surprised they even got the pass off there. Yeah, the old line disappeared. There were seven Franklin guys charging at McCarthy him. McCarthy fields the one hopper. 
and he boots a short kick. Wow. It's going to go, but it takes a bounce for Brockton's favor and roll dead at the 28. 22 yard punt, that's about it. And Franklin will take over, first and 10. Well, uh, an offensive drive looked promising, Matt, for the boxers, but Franklin came up with some good defensive plays. And Brockton's offensive line got very rattled on a couple of consecutive plays they there, did. setting up that third and long situation and just completely disappearing from the field for that last play. Well, yep. we'll see if the defense for Franklin will turn into some fine offensive play now as the defense brings the ball back to the Franklin offense. 5.29 left in the first half. We're tied at seven. Gasparro, everybody tight. Takes a deep drop, pump fakes. Now he's going to go deep he for has Davis. It. He's yeah. got it at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. He goes Jake Davis. What a play, Gasparro to Davis. It's Jake Davis again, and it was a pretty much a similar play to the one first time around. And Thomas Gasparro showing what he can do as a quarterback again. And Franklin are already into the red zone after one play. How about that? First and 10 for the Panthers at the Brockton 20. That was Isaiah Laguerre getting burned in coverage there. Paul Mary runs up the middle, gets five, 10, 15. Down inside the 10 goes Owen Paul Mary to about the seven yard line, pickup of about 13. Great job by Paul Mary there. You know, early on in the first quarter in particular, he wasn't getting that good protection, not any electric runs, but there, just putting his head down, getting a nice gain on the play. Second down and three for the Panthers. Need to take it to the goal line. Is Palmieri close to the goal line. He stopped at the one and a half yard line. Owen Palmieri. What a turn of events. It really is, yeah. There's a whistle and a timeout on the field called by Brockton. 4.25 to go in the first half. Your score, Franklin seven, Brockton seven. Problem on this drive for the Brockton defense is that with a lot of players playing both ways all game for the boxers, that's Isaiah Laguerre, the top offensive target. Yeah. He plays every single down on both sides of the ball. It's he gets tired at points. I bet, yeah. We've seen that phenomenon with the Attleboro quarterback a game back. He played both ways and he got hurt defensively yep. and couldn't come in. Yeah, It really hurt them. Right. Second and goal for the Panthers from the two yard line. Gasparro will keep it himself, drives up the middle for the touchdown. Wow, yeah, I don't think Brockton were really expecting Gasparro to take it himself. Gasparro showing what he can do with his arm a minute ago, and he says, I'll take it in myself for the TD. Franklin take their first lead of the game. 13 to seven, Parker Chevrant will try to add on one. A nice driving run up the middle on the quarterback keeper by Tom Gasparro, his Parker Chevron. Ball is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 419 left in the quarter. You score now, Franklin 14, Brockton seven. Let's take you back to the touchdown. That play completely fooled the Brockton defense in all facets. It did. You had the man in motion that was going right across the field. The offensive line cheated that way as well. The Brockton defense was fully committed to a play on the right side of the field. And when Franklin's quarterback kept it himself, there was just a wide open hole left by everybody being on the other side of the field. Well, Matt, it'll be up to Brockton to come back from a deficit. How are they doing in playing from behind this year? Not well, there's only been a couple of times uh, of note. That would be Natick in which they lost 35 to 14 in that game. And Brockton, when they win, they win big. Yeah. And they, yeah. they put up scores early, and they were beating Durfee just a couple of weeks ago, 30 to nothing at the half. Yeah. Wow. So this will be a new experience for the boxers. We'll see what they do. Chevron's kick is going to be taken at the 12. It's bobbled, still bobbled, and now the ball carrier comes up with it, spinning around laterally, and it'll go still on his feet. Isaiah Laguerre, here he goes! And there he goes, Laguerre. Wow. What a run. 
by Isaiah Laguerre. He bobbled it three times and takes it out across the 30. He could have been pinned out of inside the 20. Isaiah Laguerre, of course, back week five or six when we were up in, in Everett at uh, Memorial Stadium up there, the, one of the toughest teams in the state to play, historically yep. Everett. Yep. Oh yeah, they're strong, Everett. The kickoff to open the second half in that game was run 99 yards back for a touchdown by Isaiah Laguerre. Well, you could see the skill set on him. Here's the handoff inside. It looks like it uh, might go to Watterson. Yeah, Franklin now with the with the momentum on their side. And we'll see if their defense can do what they did last time out there. This is a big, big drive for Brockton as we're winding down in half. Second down and six. Pitch on the right side. Flag goes down. This one might come back. Two, yeah. The ball it's carry be offensive takes it across the 40. Laguerre takes it across the 40, but it's going to come back on a big penalty against the boxers. That was the right guard, number 77 for the boxers. Yeah, that is that is a, a big penalty on uh, Brockton right there. They're moved back quite a bit. That's big for Franklin. They need to make 17 on this second down play. Second and 17. 3.30 to go in the first half. We had a two a two different games, scoreless yeah, first exactly, quarter, yeah. and a lot of action here in the second quarter. Second down and 17 for the boxers from their own 26. Devontae Medley gets the snap, bumps into a running back, and he's gonna go down inside the 25 yard line. He had multiple options on that play, and that's one of his weaknesses back in, when he's in the shotgun is if he sees one opposing jersey get into the backfield, he starts scrambling and thinks about where he can run instead of how to get rid of the ball and get positive yardage. Yeah, he definitely seemed to be a little bit panicked there as well, and it seemed like the uh, O-line wasn't helping him too much. It looked like he almost collided into one of his guys. That didn't help him much either. Luke Cunningham and Austin Jordan make the stop. Third down and 19. Ball at the 25, make it 18. Medley dumps it off, incomplete at the 28 yard line. And he got it over there into for there Watterson. In the backfield again. Yep, I was just gonna say the exact same thing. The pressure being put on Medley and he, he had no choice but to release it immediately there and Brockton will have to punch it off and hey, there's still 217 on the clock. That's plenty of time for Franklin to do something offensively once they get the ball. So McCarthy is in, Nally is back for the Panthers, plenty of time left. 2.17 to go, there's the snap. McCarthy Ooh. gets it off. It's gonna be caught and run back by Nally inside the 40. The Panthers with good field position. They have it at the 39 yard line of Brockton with 2.06 to go in the quarter. Well, that's definitely enough time for Franklin with the field position they're starting. You know, in. Sam, we've, we've seen Franklin with a lot of problems with punts, but they've been more sure-handed here tonight. Yeah, they have, yep. Yeah, they bobbled quite a few punts yep. on the season. Um, but yeah, tonight they look a lot better. I'm First sure and 10 for practice. Franklin from the 39 of Brockton. 2.06 to go. Gasparro will, hand, will fake the handoff and keep it. He throws, he's got a completion inside the 30 to Jack Nally. Yep, quick release, Gasparro to Nally. Those two have quite the connection as well, and it's a first down Franklin just like that. Cool as you like it. 11 yard pickup for the Panthers. Clock stops as Nally went out of bounds. That took nine seconds. Yeah. First and 10 from the 25. Gasparro will pitch it to Palmieri, who cuts it back in, big hole! Palmieri takes it in! 26 yard run by Owen Palmieri! Wow, Franklin how on top, about 20 that? 20 to seven. Owen Palmieri finds the gap, and he took off for the end zone, 
and it's all Franklin right now. They have absolutely come alive in the second quarter. 20 to seven, they lead it, and the fans here from Sydney Stadium are loving it. What a burst of speed <laughs> by really Owen Palmieri. Yeah, no one was catching him. Here's Parker Chevron for the point after. It's up and it is good. 153 left in the second quarter. You score now, Franklin 21, Brockton seven. That drive took exactly 16 seconds off the clock. Incredible. Franklin has exploded for three touchdowns here in the second quarter in about 10 minutes of action. Following the touchdown on the first play of the quarter by Brockton, Franklin has put up three straight. Here's Parker Chevron. Has it teed up at the 40 with 1.53 to go. Amik Watterson back deep for the boxers. It's gonna come down deep. Handle there at the 15. Watterson. Isaiah Laguerre. Laguerre, rather. Laguerre breaks a tackle out to the 28-yard line. Laguerre, he just, like, lulls you into sleep, and then he puts it to a different level and takes off. That's one of his strong suits is the starting, the stopping. He loves to start off slow, kind of get a lay of the land, where the defenders, where the coverage is and then he just turns on the Jets and can burn everybody. Absolutely, first and 10 for the boxers from their own 30. Medley, he's gonna throw, gets a completion, and going down quickly at the line of scrimmage was their receiver, and that is Chula Hall for basically no gain. Yeah, great tackle there on the play. Second down, we'll call it nine. Give him a yard. 1.22 to go, clock moving in the half. Medley operates from the right hash. He's gonna throw again, that's complete, but looks like he kept in bounds. So there's yeah. a little bit of a mistake for Nevon Reed. He stays in bounds, and it looks like they'll not call a timeout. Pickup yeah. of seven. It looked like Jake Davis was uh, holding Navon Reed by the legs there, not letting him get any further downfield. Third down and three, Medley. He's gonna throw, he's got a completion out across the 40 for a first down. That'll stop the clock. Nice play there. Was that Laguerre? Might have been. That was Isaiah Laguerre, and that's a mental error right there for Isaiah Laguerre. Yeah. The second you catch that ball and you've, you're wrapped up, go down. Yeah. 33 seconds to go, clock moving. Medley, it's going to go deep, up to the middle. It's up, it's picked uh -huh. off. Yeah, it's going to be a pass interference. 30, flag is down. There may have been a push off, I'm not sure, Sam. Did Davis push off? He did. He's going to be called for interference, yeah. and this interception will be nullified. That's a big play for Brockton. It is, it really is. That's a, that's a save here for Brockton right there. And you know, now Jake in high Davis school. could have made the play there. He did push off though, it was the right decision. But yeah, Davis, another guy who can, who can pull off some amazing plays on both sides of the ball. And they'll mark it from the line of scrimmage 15 yards to yeah. the Franklin 41. It gives Brockton the chance too. Now. 21 to seconds to go. And a whistle and a timeout called by Coach Peter Colombo of the Brockton High Boxers. 21 seconds left in the half. You score Franklin 21, Boxers 7. That was a bold move by Devontae Medley to throw into double coverage. That's how much trust he has in his big receivers, Navon Reed, Isaiah Laguerre on the other side. And you can see why when Isaiah... Uh, it was Navon Reed on that play that was pushed off by Joe Davis. So it's gonna be first and 10 for Brockton, but their real nemesis is the clock. 21 yeah. seconds to go. I think they have one timeout left. 
Yeah. And see how they use it. They, if they do have their one, they can use the middle of the field. But only 21 seconds to go. First and 10 for the boxers. Medley. He's going to throw again. Right sideline. It's caught. And no, they rule him out of bounds. Oh, wow. They ruled Navon Reed out of bounds when he made the catch. He can't that, believe it. That's Navon Reed. He's himself. not happy. He definitely had that in bounds. I'm wondering if he kind of like tried to toss it to the official as he was crossing out of bounds or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's the only possible thing I can really think of. Yeah, but yeah, big, big call there. Second down and 10. 16 seconds to go. Medley is going to throw on the left side and sliding and making the catch is Reed again. No, let's check it. That's, That's Trey Shula be, Hall uh, on the Shula far sideline. Pickup of about eight. 10 seconds to go in the half. Well, the boxers showing they can move the ball again after their offense sputtered. They have it at the Franklin 33. Third and three, 10 seconds to go. Oh, Reed, he gets yeah, away the escape from ability. the rush, but he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down and the flag comes down. And you a see it again, guys, Devontae with two Medley. seconds to go. Instead of looking, once he escaped that, that sack attempt in the backfield, didn't think, let me do a quick scan, see if I've got any open receivers. The first thought was, where can I run with it? Yep. The penalty appears to be against Brockton. Here's the referee. Oh, a face mask, uh, against, face mask the against the Panthers. Wow. So not a penalty against Brockton. This will give Brockton a one last chance to yep. get it in the end zone. One last try for them here. Brockton takes the timeout to talk about this. The ball's going to go all the way down to the 23-yard wow. line. Two seconds to go in the half. Brockton has it. First and 10 from the 23-yard line of the Panthers. This is interesting because Brockton doesn't trust their field goal kicker, uh, Marcelo Tenorio, from more than 10 to 15 yards out. So they'll probably take one last heave towards the end zone, look to the outside for Isaiah Laguerre and Navon Reed. Yep. I think you're probably right. Wouldn't doubt it here. So last here we go. Play here. Two seconds to go. Brockton sends three wide to the right. It's an empty backfield for Devontae Medley, the junior quarterback. He gets the snap. Watterson He's open in the go middle. Left. He's got a man out there. It's up. It's batted away by Nally. Intended Great coverage on the by Jack side, Nally. And Nally and makes no play. better way to end the half for Franklin than that. And Amik Watterson talking to Devontae Medley on their way to the Brockton sideline saying, I was open in the middle of the field at the seven yard line. He kept looking left the entire time, Matt. He never really looked at all of his wideouts on the right side. And that's Devontae Medley always goes for his first read or keeps it himself. There's never, there's never a second look or a third look. Well, that's going to do it. What about the first half? Sam, it was scoreless after one. You thought maybe one touchdown wins this game, and there were four touchdowns put up in the second quarter. I know it. Just like that, with the blink of an eye, we know that these two offenses are capable of some special things, and Franklin really turned it on after going down 7 nothing, scoring three unanswered touchdowns. Great end of the half for the, the Panthers. touchdowns, Amik Watterson opened up the scoring for Brockton, with 11.54 to go in the second quarter on a 10-yard pass from Devontae Medley. Tortorino's kick was good, seven to nothing, Brockton. Then Franklin came back with three scores. The first one, a seven-yard TD run by Jack Nally at 9.54. Chevron made all three kicks, seven to seven. Gasparro, a two-yard run at 4.19 to go, Chevron's kick. And then the final one with 1.53 to go, 26-yard run by Owen Paul Mary. Chevron's kick was good, and that's your score at halftime with the Brockton High Band out on the field. The second half kick is coming up. This is the South Sectional Semifinals after one half of play. Franklin 21, Brockton 7.
27 nothing Catholic Memorial over BC High. That's to be expected. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah, pretty good. I mean, it's not summer in here, but <laughs> but it helps. Yeah. I gotta move around more. <laughs> yeah. oh. Samuel? Samuel. Samuel. Right here. Oh, Sam? Yeah. yeah. You're Samuel? Yes. A lady yes. sent you this. Oh, okay, thank you. Hey! I'll take it. <laughs> A lady. Do you want, do you want to use no. it? Sam and Paul, right? What was that? Sam and Paul. Sam. And Paul? Uh, Pete. Pete. Yes. Put them in your feet, yeah. I think I'm going to do that. So here we go for the second half. Franklin will kick off to the boxers who ended the first half with a bit of a surge, but their draw, drive stalled at the Franklin 23 yard line. Pete Royce, Sam Reese, and Matt Nelson with you from Piscini Stadium on the Franklin High Campus. And you said it, they had a surge right there at the end, Pete, of the first half the Brockton offense did. Let's see if they can capitalize on any of that momentum that they were able to start to build towards the end of that first half. Watterson back, it's a short kick this time, fielded by one of the up men across the 30 to the 35 to the 38 yard line. And a good start for Brockton. That's a Johnny Horn on the uh, return for the boxers. He was the, the lead return man earlier on in the season, but he had a string of three to four muff kicks in a row, mm -hmm. so that you lost that job to Isaiah Laguerre and Amik Watterson, but Number able to get one there. Uh, on the return. That time they kicked away from their deep man and kicked it rather short. So here's Brockton with the first possession of the second half. They trail it 27, 21 to seven. Medley pitches at the last moment to the line of scrimmage. Maybe, and maybe falling forward for the yard was the pitch man on that play. Give him one. It looked like it might have been uh, Laguerre, and he gets one. Second down and nine for the boxers. The other thing that we haven't yet talked about, guys, is in depth is the weather. It's about 25 yeah. degrees out. Yeah. <laughs> Brockton's definitely. top offensive weapon lived in Tennessee this time three years ago, so he's definitely not <laughs> used to the cold. No, yeah, absolutely. A nice pass and catch hauled in there by Reed, Navon Reed, and he takes it out for a pickup of nine, it'll be a pickup of eight. Third down and one to the 48. Third down and one for Devontae 
Medley, the junior quarterback for the boxers. Franklin Ooh, moving, but they don't jump. <laughs> they don't jump. It looked like they were going to blitz, but they backed off just in time. Medley keeps it. Now he pitches. In a breakaway here by Watterson. Oh, oh, it. It. Oh. It's still loose, and it's recovered by it's Brockton. Brockton. That's Devin Forts in the right place at the right time yeah. for the boxers. That's really? rare to see a Meek Watterson let one go like that. We've only seen it, I think, once or twice this season. When he does, it it's never like he falls on top of it. It always squirts four or five yards up before yeah. Yeah. someone's able to recover it. Here's Medley. He gets a completion. Shula Hall on the outside Shula working his Hall. way back in. He gets about seven on the play, so a good start for the boxers here in the third quarter. They move the ball downfield it from is. their own 38 to the Franklin 32-yard line. Yeah, this is just the start uh, Brockton needed to this half, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And when they get going, they can roll off four or five touchdowns in a quarter. We saw that last week Hand against off Newton North. There. Laguerre, he's met at the line of scrimmage. Yep, nice tackle by Luke Cunningham. That puts them back a bit. This is a huge third down here for both teams, especially the boxers. It's a loss of two on Laguerre's run. The ball is back to the 34 of Franklin. Just a couple of minutes and a half into the second half. 21 to seven Panthers. They trailed it seven to nothing. Third down and six from the Franklin 34. Medley has three wide to the right, one to the left. Medley looks right, he throws, gets the completion. Laguerre inside the 30. It's going to be close to the first down marker. They got it, I they believe. They got it, yeah. Yeah, the referee on the near side signaling that they got it. Big first down for Brockton. And we're seeing something we didn't see in the first half. Devontae Medley targeting Isaiah Laguerre a couple of plays in a row now after he had that run attempt that was stopped in the backfield. First and 10 from the Franklin 27. Watterson gets the inside handoff, spinning oh, wow. through. He's a tough man to tackle, <clears throat> and he takes it inside the 15. We alluded to it earlier, yards after contact. Yep. His bread and butter. He loves getting that first hit, seeing where he's out on the field, and just turning up the Jets. Yeah, he just kept on going. It's a gain of about 11, first and 10 for the boxers from the Franklin 15. Not even four minutes into the quarter. Medley fumbled. Did he fumble? No, he got the handoff just barely off. And falling forward was Waterson for a pickup of about two. Larravee with the tackle for the Panthers. And Medley had second thoughts about letting that one go, too. Yeah, I definitely think so as well. Now second and 11. Oh, that's going to call it, a, yeah, a loss of one. I thought maybe he fell forward, but no, they're going to spot it outside the 15. Two wide to the right, two to the left, single set back with Devontae Medley. He's going to roll right. He fakes, and he's going to run. And he's hit hard inside the 15 to about the 13-yard line. A Not a bad down run. Down. It looks like he's going to be spotted right at the 10, so that'll bring up a third and about five. I'd watch out for an Amik Watterson run right here. Mm, yep. Third down in five, almost five minutes into the third quarter. This is the opening drive of the half, and the boxers have looked good in this one. And a long drive, guys. Already five minutes off the clock to start this second quarter. Yes, uh, third, absolutely. Second half, excuse me. Yep. Third down in five from the 15. Medley, he's gonna pitch it. And fumble, it's football. fumble, yes. Franklin's got it. He's going. And they're gonna, they're oh, gonna, they, he's cannot, down. they cannot yeah. advance it. The ball wow. was fumbled and recovered by Cole Lakatos. No, let's check it. No, it's covered by Liam Larravee. Larravee with the recovery. An unfortunate end to a promising yeah. drive for the boxers. I was about to say the same thing. You know, everything was going right there on that drive for Brockton. They kept on going, but in the end, the Franklin defense forces a turnover, and that's a big time play by the D. That's a big momentum changer right there. Gasparro will hand it off. Daylight up the middle. 
across the 15. Fumble, fumble. again. 25, wow. another fumble, but again. Franklin recovers it. Franklin recovers it. Davis recovers the fumble. I think Palmieri was the ball carrier. A pickup yeah. of eight in Palmieri. I think coughed it up, but Davis was right there for the recovery. Two I, consecutive plays with fumbles. I think these conditions are definitely playing a factor. Three fumbles already this half. Second down and two for the Panthers. Gasparro is going to throw a little swing pass to Nally at the 29. Flag he should have the in. first down. Flag thrown in right at the end, I think. Now oh, they're going to wave it off. So it is enough for the first down. No call, no flag down. Yeah, and you know, Nally's always there to make the play. It seems like every time he's he's there to get the first down. He needed three, he got four. Inside handoff to Nally on the left side. Still carrying it forward across the 35 to about the 37 yard line. And now a flag comes in very late. Very late as Nally was well out of bounds and well tackled. So it's going to be an unsportsman like I think against the Brockton boxers. Bob Esposito was the referee. Here's his signal. Not yet. Now it's coming. Dead ball. Dead ball foul. Personal foul. Holding. Oh, wow. Against Franklin. Wow. Yeah. The, the whole crowd seems to be shocked by that. I think even Brockton seems a little bit surprised by that. That might have been uh, pulling the person off the off the pile. It might have been, yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. 15 against the Panthers. Thought it was holding. It might have been a, simply a personal foul. Well, penalty, he's gonna move it back to the so it's going to be second yards. down and 18 to go. That's a big, second big loss. It is. Gasparro, he's going to throw. He's got a completion across the 30. It's Matt Lazarek for a pickup of about eight to the 32 yard line. It'll be third down and seven for the Panthers from their own 34. They get a pretty good spot there. Yeah, and third down and no matter what, you always have to give Franklin a chance. Third down, they'll call it six now from the 34, Gasparro. Deep, 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 deep drop. He throws, gets the completion. 40, He's got 45. Oh, wow. Ball was out again. He fumbled the football, and Brockton has it. Two, wow. And it's a fumble, fumble recovery. <laughs> I believe it was by Randy Jean-Francois. Brockton takes over. We've had a lot of fumbles in this quarter. As Lakatos coughed it up, he might have had enough for the first down. Yeah, I think he did have enough for the first down. You the know, PA he, announcer certainly thought he had enough for the first down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he definitely had enough, but didn't grasp that ball at the end, and the ball came out. So it's first and ten for Brockton. Medley will take advantage and go deep. He's got a man out there, incomplete. Intended out there for Navon Reed. Off his fingertips, he probably would have been out of bounds if he hauled it in. I think the issue with the fumbles can be attributed to both teams were in nice warm locker rooms during halftime. Yeah. <laughs> then they came out, they both came out very late for high school football. Usually you come out with about three minutes left on the halftime clock. They both came out with between 30 and 45 seconds left on that clock. So they're playing as their bodies are starting to cool down again. It's a good point, yep, absolutely. Game time temperature was 28. It's probably mid to low 20s right now. This is beach Ooh. weather for New and, England. And Medley bobbled the ball, but he fumbles <laughs> it. <laughs> he lost it again. He, you believe it. It. he covered it and fumbled it. And the ball, let's see who they're going to give it to. Franklin has the football. Wow. This is wild. Is that four straight drives with fumbles? Yep. I think you're right. What is that, the sixth fumble of the half? Whoa. Unbelievable. Franklin has it. And since Whoa. that opening drive of the, the second half, only three minutes have come off the clock. Yeah, yeah I know it. Well, know not it. even, cause it's about two minutes and seven seconds. Yep, unbelievable. Wow. 
So it's first and 10 for the Panthers. 4.57 left. The game is bogged down here in the third quarter after an exciting second period. Gasparro hands it off to Nally. Cuts it inside the four, over the 40. Ooh, and the penalty hit. marker goes down. Flag, flag, flag goes down. It's going to be holding against the Panthers. This will bring them back again. Yeah, that's unfortunate for the Panthers because that was a nice play there by Jack Nally. And he got popped right at the end, he did. too. Yeah, he, he really did. He didn't seem to get up quickly either. You know, he seems to be fine, but a little shaken up after that. After that, he definitely took a hard hit at the end. So the ball will be moved back to the Franklin 28-yard line. <clears throat> Big loss on the play. First down and 20 for the Panthers. Gasparro with plenty of work to do here on first and 20. Nally in motion. They don't pitch to him. Gasparro is going to throw deep for Davis. Davis wanted oh, the holding oh. call, does not get it. Wanted the pass interference yeah. as he was scooting up the left sideline. Looked like just normal hand fighting. Might have yeah, got wrapped around sides. at the very end, but yeah. it was just that normal hand fighting that goes on, trying to create some separation. It'll go as an incomplete pass. Second down in 20 for the Panthers from their own 28-yard line. 4.23 left in the third. Gasparro dumps it for Nally. Nally across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Nice little pickup, but they need plenty more for the first down. They need that a was lot a second more. and 20. They got about third six, and third and 14. 14. But hey, you know, third and 14, I wouldn't be surprised one bit. Actually, I can almost guarantee that Gasparro is gonna look long down the sideline to probably Jake Davis, keep an eye on him. Okay, <laughs> third and 14. Gasparro takes the deep drop, going deep, and he looked Too for far. Davis, but way overthrown on Davis. Back there defending was Diamond Blakely. Blakely had Davis well played and the ball was well overthrown. Fourth down and 14 for the Panthers. 3.43 left. Yeah, by the time that ball was over Davis's head, he had barely even noticed that the pass was even thrown, not quite on the same page there. And that's a nice stop for Brockton. Of course, penalties help them, but nonetheless, it's huge that they'll get the ball back, keeping this a two-score game. Trotton is back at his own 20. Chula Hall stands at his own 35 for Brockton. The high snap, but Trody Cody Trotton booms it to Chula Hall at the 29. Hall to the 32, and that's it. And Brockton will take over first and 10 from their own 32. It was nice of Tracia LaHal to avoid that initial tackle attempt because he would have become a part of the field if that hit had come to pass for one of the Franklin uh, coverage men. Absolutely. So we have 3.31 to go. A scoreless third quarter, fumble plagued, injury plagued. And Brockton has it again, this time at their own 32. They were way deep in Franklin territory before they turned it over. Hand off, a big opening. There he Watterson, goes. there he go. no, there goes. There Isaiah Laguerre. He's gonna take it to, rather Laguerre, he's gonna take it to the house. Laguerre goes. Wow. How about that? And 67 no, yards. And no flags thrown. That's been the killer for the boxes on big plays like that. Yeah. All season, we saw it against Natick. We saw it again against New Bedford. They've had 50, 60, 70 yard touchdown runs wiped out because of penalties. They've really gotten a hold of that in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Isaiah that's, Laguerre. That's huge from Laguerre. I mean, he was wide open, and after he took off, no one was getting near him. Totoreno. Tonorino in for the extra point, and a flag will right, stop right play. Kick was no good, but a flag before offside against Franklin. 
Oh, this is interesting now. It'll be lined up at the one. Brockton might switch shifts there and go for the two-point conversion being so close to the goal line. Marcelo Tenorio has been strong for the boxers, kicking extra points, as you mentioned earlier, perfect last week against Newton North. Tenorio still out there on the field. Coach Colombo had a quick discussion with the referee. Ian Bain, the Franklin coach in his fourth year. And let's see if they're gonna kick it or go for the two. Looks like gonna go to kick it. Marcelo Tenorio is in there this time a yard and a half closer. Marcelo Tenorio trying to make it a one score game. Well, it would be one score anyway, but trying to make it a seven point deficit. Tenorio comes through, his kick is up, and the kick is good. 319 left in the third, what a game. Franklin 21, Brockton 14. So on an absolute frigid night here in Franklin, lightning strikes with Isaiah Laguerre ripping off a 67-yarder from scrimmage. And it's a 21-14 game. Here's the Watterson kick, it's short. Gonna be taken at the 28 to the 33 and Franklin will have it there, first and 10 at their own, we'll call it 32-yard line. They now lead it now, 21-14. That's. Another thing you'll notice with the Brockton roster, right, they've got Kevin McCarthy, the punter, Marcella Tenorio, the place kicker, yeah. but Amik Watterson's been their kickoff guy all season. So the Panthers will have it. They were uh, penalty plagued in their last possession. They also fumbled. And here they go. First and 10 from their own 33. Handoff, Paul Mary. It's got some daylight. We'll wedge it out Paul near the, the 40 yard line. Gets it to the 40 yard nice line. little first down run for Owen Paul Mary. Pickup of seven for Owen. Panthers have it now. Second down and three from their own. 40 yard line. Yeah, and you know, everything was going right in that second quarter for Franklin. But now with that Brockton touchdown, Franklin really got to lock in and focus here. And this drive is huge for them. Well, give Brockton credit for the response after being down at halftime 21 to 7. 100%. Here's the handoff on the left side. Not making the yard to gain was Paul Mary. It's going to be a little bit shy, I believe. It's going to be very close, though. And they're going to give it a first down. They're going to move it. Well, they didn't even ask for a measurement. It's interesting, the side judge on the near side looked across the field and waved the, the stick gang forward. Yep. First and 10 for the Panthers from their own 43. Hand off again, Paul Mary. Across the 45 to the 46 yard line. And he has it out on a gain of three. Second and seven for the Panthers with two minutes left in the third quarter. 21-14 Franklin. This is the South semifinals. The winner goes on to play the winner of tonight's game between Catholic Memorial and Boston College High School. Second and seven for Franklin from their own 47. Gasparro going deep. He's got oh, Paul Lakatos. Yeah. He catches it on the rebound. Lakatos is going to take it in. Wow. 53 yards. Lakatos bobbled it. So Brockton had a big play with their touchdown. But look what Franklin do there. In my own mind, I thought Lakatos was going to drop it for a second there. But no, he takes it all the way into the end zone. And Franklin retake. Uh, hopefully 14 point lead if they can make this extra point. What a play by Lakatos. Wow. It hit off his like, yeah. chest, chest area and then bounced up. He caught it and ran in. Here's Parker Chevron, his kick is up and good. 132 left in the third, what a game. Franklin leads it 28 to 14. 
It's been an absolute wild third quarter, guys. It really has. If you look at the clock, only five and a half minutes have come off the clock since Brockton's opening drive of the second quarter. That seems like ages ago with the six fumbles, the Brockton touchdown, now the Franklin touchdown. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable third quarter if you think about it like you just said. I mean, up and down action. You think this team has momentum, then the other team goes down and scores. You know, who knows what's going to happen in this fourth quarter coming up. We've still got the third quarter to finish. In one and a half minutes, anything can happen at this yeah, rate. It could be one of those games. The last team with the ball wins. Yeah, it could be. 132 left in the third. What a game. 28-14. Your halftime score was 21-7. Drake. Shane Drake has it teed up at the 40. <clears throat> We've seen the speed in the return game yep. for Brockton. On and Watterson is back deep. A booming kick by Drake wow. to the goal line. Oh, he should have let it go. That's an automatic touchback. That's an automatic touchback this year. Meek Watterson's yelling at the official. It's probably good that they whistled that down because yeah. <laughs> Franklin was already back they deep in coverage. In. He had that two yards deep in the end zone when he caught that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're exactly right. I mean, Franklin was coming at him. It's probably for the benefit of Brockton in the end. How about Shane Drake's kickoffs tonight? Unbelievable. That's extraordinary. I mean, all the way two to yards the deep. Yeah, wow. First and 10 for Brockton from their own 20. 130 left in the third. Medley. It's a lateral, lateral pass. It's a live ball coming forward for a short gain as the receiver caught it in his own backfield on the lateral and wedges it out for about a pickup of two, maybe one. We've seen the boxers run that as a fake play earlier this season. I think it was in the Durfee game where they'll lateral it back, kind of like the Patriots did with, Ju with yeah. Julian Edelman to Danny Amendola a couple years ago. It second was Isaiah down, Laguerre. Second down and nine. Medley keeps it, and he's tackled on a nice tackle after a pickup of about three. Yeah, he seemed to run into his own guy there at the end. It'll be third down and seven for Brockton. Big play in the game for both teams. It really is, yeah. If Brockton don't convert this, you never Third know, down and seven. Ball is out at the 22. Maybe the 23, need to take it to the 30. Medley, he's going to dump it out on the left side, and it's picked off. Oh, no, it's dropped. Uh -huh. It's dropped. Yeah. It's that was dropped. a very ill-advised pass. It. Yeah. You had Navon Reed, you had Noah Oluwu, both open on the near side, and Oluwu was open in the middle, and Devontae Medley looked to his guy, Isaiah Laguerre, on the far side. But nice defense by Nally. He knocked it down. It was. And they'll send the punt team out, Will Brockton. So a big hold on the play. After the Franklin score, they force Brockton three and out. Fourth down and seven. You always have to be aware of a fake. Oh, Franklin might have jumped offside. They don't call it. It's a low, a short kick. It takes a good bounce for Brockton. So no offside on the play. There looked like there was movement, and the ball will go over to the Panthers after the punt by McCarthy. The ball down at the 46-yard line of Franklin. They'll have it first and 10, leading it 28-14. Franklin ball first and 10 at the 46-yard line. 11 seconds to go in the third quarter. What a quarter this has been. Injury plagued, penalty plagued, and then two big scores. 67-yarder yeah. run by, by uh, Isaiah Laguerre, and then a 53-yard pass from Gasparo to Cole Lakatos. First and 10 for the Panthers from their own 46. Quarterback keeper. keeper. Gasparo oh. up the middle for 13 yards. Yep, Tom Gasparo, Gasparo already has a rushing touchdown of his own. And he can run the ball. I don't know if uh, if Brockton have figured that out yet, but you always got to keep an eye on Thomas Gasparo, and that ends the third quarter. What a game. We played three. 12 minutes left to go on a frigid night in Franklin. You score in the South Sectional Semifinals. Franklin 28, Brockton 14.
That's excellent play by Gasparro right there for the Panthers. He saw the hole. That wasn't the Franklin Panthers play call for the quarterback draw, but he saw the hole. He took it, gain of 11, first down. He is a senior, and he's showing his senior smarts out there tonight. He's also showing his athleticism with a long pass here in this quarter. So we go to the fourth, 12 minutes to go. But it's hard to believe, guys, the first quarter was absolutely scoreless. I know. <laughs> and Looking back, that seems like a couple uh, days ago. Yeah. <laughs> so we switch sides. Now. Franklin going to left to right now. They have it to start the fourth and final period. Winner of this game, as you mentioned earlier, goes on to face the winner of Catholic Memorial and BC High. That game, 27 nothing right now. Catholic Memorial on top, no surprises there. The undefeated Knights, led by Jay DiBiaso, formerly of Everett High School. A quarterback keeper by Gasparro again. This time he gets about two. Second down and eight for the Panthers at the 41 yard line. Clock was not moving until no, now. Wasn't. Yeah. So about 20 seconds were not run off the clock. Bobby Esposito seems satisfied with it now. He's the referee. Gasparro used the delay to go over to to his, the sideline for a quick huddle with his coach. And now he leads the Panthers out. Second down and eight from the Brockton 41. Opening minute of the fourth quarter. Lazarek resets from right to left. Inside handoff to Palmieri. Falls forward across the line of scrimmage to the 39 yard line. It'll be third down and seven. Maybe a gain of one, that's all. Well, this yeah. suddenly become, comes a game, guys, of clock management for the Franklin Panthers. <laughs> I'd be surprised if they passed on any down that's not third and long. Yeah, yeah. you read well, my you mind. Might be su you might be surprised because yeah, that's true. they come up with all these plays. Yeah. Unbelievable at times when you don't expect it. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, Matt. I know the fourth, quor uh, fourth quarter just started, but... You know, it's they're up by 14. I, I would expect them to run the ball a lot, but as Pete said, you never know with this team. Yeah, they have an offense. They just stick to it. You know, they no really do. What yeah. The score. Yeah. Third down and seven. Gasparro, big drop. He throws from one knee. It was almost picked That's off. Three. Almost That's picked off one. in there. That would have been taken in by Diamond Blakely, but Blakely wow. fell forward. Gasparro that time threw it with one knee on the turf. I'm surprised they didn't rule the ball dead. Yeah, I was thinking the same exact thing. And you know, those are the risks of throwing the ball right there. So Cody Trotton stands at his 45. Yeah, he can really pin him deep too. We know what he's capable of. There's number seven on the pressure, uh, Sean O'Brien for the boxers getting to Gas uh, Gasparro in the backfield. High snap, Cody Trotton. He's gonna try to kick it deep and a fair catch called by. It's gonna be illegal block in the back on the boxers. Chula Hall with the fair catch, penalty marker down. Yeah, Navon Reed took out his uh, coverage man. I think that was number 52 for the Panthers. Back after the fair catch signal was made, there was contact on the near hash mark. Yeah. So that is gonna go against Brockton. You don't usually see it so much on a fair catch, but no. that's the call. Yep. They'll pin the boxers deep in their own end. Yep, Brockton's still in the game, but they got a lot of work to do here on this drive. Pinned all the way back to around the five yard line. Yep. Maybe the six. Between the five and the six. Longest play of the boxer season, 93 yard catch and run, Amik Watterson. Wow. Yep. Well, I we mean, know that they have that scoring ability yeah, from absolutely. any place on the field. Yeah, we've seen big plays from both teams, and you know, you, you can't be surprised to whatever happens at this point. No team's out of it no matter what. First and 10 from their own six. Devontae Medley all alone in his own backfield. He's gonna dump it over the middle Green and a big tackle there. That was Isaiah the Laguerre on the reception. Hit tackle immediately. Tackle by Evan Wirtz. Yeah, great tackle there by Wirtz. And you know, Brockton are still pinned back where you know they have to get rid of that ball quickly. They're not really in a safe, safe area yet where they actually have time to make a nice play. Loss of one, second and 11. 
Ball is now at the five. Clock moving, 9.45 to go in the fourth. Medley, he's gonna run, and he takes it out to the 10. Pick yeah, he was thinking five. about the pitch on the outside corner there and yep. decided against it. So it'll be third down and about seven for the boxers. Alex Honor. Honor making the stop for the Panthers. Third and seven for Brockton from their own 10 yard line. They need to take it to about the 16. Brockton spreads the field from sideline to sideline. And Medley looks it over. It's gonna throw on the right, got the completion out across the 20 Devin with the reception Forts. to Forts. Devin Forts to the 22 yard line, a big third down completion for Medley and Brockton. Though they keep the drive alive, they have it across their own 20. What a lineup for the trips to the near side. Trace Jula Hall all the way out. Devin Forts splitting him and Isaiah Laguerre in the slot. And here's Medley. He's going to run again. Across the line of scrimmage, he picks up about 10 on the play. Maybe nine, nine and a half. Yeah, Medley they're, they're going to give it to him. Yep, they're going to give him 10. First and 10 for the boxers. Yeah, really all night on both sides. Uh, for both teams, really, the referees have seemed to be a little bit generous there. Very for those quick first call, minutes. I do say it. Medley's going to take the drop. The rush is on. He throws it. It's complete at the 30, 35, 40, almost the 40. It looks like it was Forts again. It was, and Forts loves the contact. You saw him go. Yeah. Lower his head, lower his shoulders to get the extra couple yards there. Yeah, he was really inviting the contact here, exactly right. And how about Medley hit Getting when he was up. going down? Yeah, yeah, he, he released it just in time and made a nice play. Second down and two for the boxers. Medley, it's gonna go right side, it's caught. No, it's no. incomplete. Wow. Intended for Reed at the 48 yard line. Ruled incomplete on the far side. It'll be third down and two. That does stop the clock, clock with 7.54 to go here in the third quarter. Hey, one thing I want to mention, guys, is the good turnout of fans. Brockton yeah. was here. Their band is here. They have a good delegation on the far side. They do. And Franklin, I was out in the stands at halftime. A lot of fans are here. They're cold, but they're here cheering on their respective teams. <laughs> Yes, yeah, considering the conditions, it's a pretty nice show out tonight. A lot of hot chocolate flowing from the concession stand here at yeah, Virginia Stadium. Set, third down and two, Medley, he's gonna keep it. He's gonna get it. Across the 40 to the 45 yard line goes Devontae Medley. And they'll move the chains again. How about this drive? Starts at their own six yard line. They have it to their own 45. Yeah, 7.38 to go. Plenty of time left. Brockton too wide to the right. Medley hands it off. Laguerre across the 45 to the 46, 47 yard line. Then he's pushed back and he rolls back. And it's a pickup of two. Second down and eight for Brockton from their own 47. Might have been a little bit of acting there on the end for Isaiah Laguerre. <laughs> yeah, I think so, a little bit anyway. Just a, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Second, they'll give him three. Second and seven for the boxers from their own 48. Medley, he's gonna go deep on the left side. That's too strong. Yeah. Intended on the left side for Chula Hall, Trey Chula Hall, the senior That's wideout. Good. And it's gonna be second down and third down and seven. Well, Procton's going to start working the short passes over the middle. I know it's not as flashy for Devontae Medley in the boxers' offense as those big plays to the outside corners, but the six minutes and 48 seconds left, and you're down two scores. You want to have a meaningful game next week, not go into yes. the loser's bracket of the MIAA South section. Navon Reed, wide right. Three trips. Trips to the right, two to the left. Medley looking left. He's got the completion for first down yardage, going for the first down was Chula Hall to Short the Franklin pass over 43. The 
for number three. Yep, you called it. <laughs> That's a big first down for Brockton, and you said it. Short pass down the middle, and it worked. They go down to the 43, first and 10, yet another first down for Brockton. Medley throws, it's complete. S snaring it out of the air on a nice finger catch was Navon Reed. We're almost midway through the fourth quarter. Franklin 28, Brockton 14. I don't know if it's true or not, but I think somebody on the Brockton sidelines watching this broadcast live because two straight plays, two straight short passes down the middle for <laughs> nice pickups. Yeah, they must be. <laughs> it's just, Matt, you think like a coach. That's what it is. Six minutes to go here in the second half, midway through. Second down and two. The entire playbook in play now. The keeper by Medley to the line of scrimmage and he stopped. He faked the handoff to Laguerre and kept it, but Franklin was right on it. It's actually a loss of a half a yard. Third and two now. Yeah, another third down coming up for Brockton. As efficient as this drive have been, has been, the time keeps on ticking, and Brockton have to start hurrying up. Third down and two from the Franklin 35. Medley, it's a swing pass. That's a lateral. It, it's complete and going down the sideline for the first down and plenty more is Amik Watterson. Watterson gets yet another first down. More yards after contact for Watterson there. He was hit initially at the line, evaded that tackle, got into some open space, and then bounced off a couple of other Franklin defenders on his way down to the 20. First yeah. and 10 for Brockton. Clock yeah. moving here in the fourth period. 28-14 Franklin, five minutes to go. Medley, he's been great in this drive. He's sacked wow. though on this play. Taking him down is Cole Lakato. No, it's not, it's Liam Larravee. Larravee with the sack. Larravee's having a really good game. I mean, how about that? Right at, you know, Brockton, just this whole drive. They're not giving up, they keep on going, but that really stops the momentum with that sack Loss right there. Loss of eight, second and 18 for Brockton. Medley, the rush is on again, <laughs> he has to dump it, it's complete to Watterson. Watterson at the 30, and he's gonna be kept in bounds. He's kept in bounds inside the 30. Good play by the Panther defense to keep him from going out. We're gonna get very close to the four minute mark remaining in the game. 27 to eight Catholic Memorial on top of BC High with two minutes to go in the third quarter. Okay. Up in West Roxbury. Third down and 18 for Brockton. Most likely four down territory for the boxers. Less than four minutes to go. Medley with a long count. Get rid the of it. The rush is on, he throws, it's tipped and oh. almost caught on the rebound. It was tipped up and almost hauled in by Chula Hall. It'll be fourth down and 17 for Brockton. Yeah, Medley took a big hit there. I mean, a ginormous hit. Now fourth and 17, and if you're Brockton, do you really have a choice? Not it's gut check time if you kick it. Well, you're in that gray area. It's too short for a exactly. punt, too long for a field goal. Exactly. So the box is forced to go for it, not that they would give it away to the Panthers no. in the first place because there's only three minutes and 41 seconds left and defense hasn't been easy to find here in the second half. Here's the play of the game so far, fourth and 18. Can Brockton keep their drive alive or can the Panther defense turn it over on downs? Four to the near side for Brockton. Medley is gonna be swarmed, but he gets away, he's gonna run. That's he's a got mistake, a long way got to go. that's a mistake. He's down at the You're 20. gonna find open space behind the line of scrimmage. Yep, you and do. At last resort like that, you just gotta heave it up. Absolutely, I mean, if you're Medley, there, there's a very extremely low probability that you're gonna run it 17 yards there as the quarterback. Especially in the spread defense exactly. that Franklin was yeah. showing on that fourth and incredibly long. Yeah, no problem for Franklin there. And you know, this game has been crazy, but I think that might just seal the deal. But Franklin need to take care of the ball first and foremost. Big, big play by the Franklin defense. And yeah, Medley chose to run. Oh, he had so much to gain. Came you up mentioned well it. short. 
Franklin's first priority here has to be protecting the football. Even if you have to punt it at the end of a three yeah. and out, you can waste probably Sparrow a solid two and a half minutes off the clock. And run it across the 20 to the 24 yard line. He picks up four on the play. Almost, no, we give him five. Second and five, Gasparro has added a, a tool to the kit tonight with the quarterback keepers. Timeout called by Brockton, their first. 319 left in the game. You score, Franklin 28, Brockton 14. Brockton's real only hope here, guys, is to create a fumble. So watch for a lot of arms to be flailing, trying to punch the football out. Yep, definitely. That that's really if you're if you're Brockton, the only thing you can do to try to get that ball back. You know, I think their plan is try to make a stop here, call a timeout, another stop, call a timeout. So then only hopefully 10 seconds tick off the clock if you're Brockton. Franklin got pretty much everybody in tight except one on the left side. Second and five, inside handoff. Davis comes around to the 29, to the 30. He's he got, got the it. first down. Jake Davis on the swing pass, an end around play. He gets the first down. Franklin has it at the 31, first and 10 Panthers. Yeah, that's huge for Franklin. And more of that clock could tick out. Brockton really needed to make a stop. Yeah, there. Brockton's admitting defeat here, not calling a timeout with three minutes and counting to go. Yeah. They have two timeouts left. This year, you only get three per half. Last year, you got about a dozen, it seemed. <laughs> it's actually five per half. It's one of the great, I, I rarely commend the MIAA <laughs> for doing anything, but they really got one right here with the new rules this year. Yeah. Hand off on the left side. That's a new look for the Panthers. It is. Matt Gula. We've seen him before. We have. He gets it out for three, a fresh jersey out there. Gula wedges it out for three, second and seven clock moving. Two, two, two left in the ball game. 28-14, Franklin. Franklin, if they hang on, will play the winner of the Catholic Memorial BC High game. If Catholic Memorial wins, it'll be at CM probably a week from tonight. Second and seven. Exactly two minutes left in the game. Franklin packs it in. Nally in motion, gets the pitch, and the whistle stops play. A false, false start, start called against the Panthers. And this will slow them down. Yeah, it stops the clock as well. <laughs> Still a sliver of hope if you're Brockton, perhaps. Brockton oh, does have two timeouts <laughs> left. But as you alluded to, if CM holds on against BC High, that game entering the fourth quarter with CM up three scores, uh, 27 to eight the score in that one currently. JD Biasso going for yet another Super Bowl title. He won all of those championships up in Everett, retired from coaching high school football, and the very next day he signed a full-time contract to coach Catholic Memorial, <laughs> going for yet another championship. Yep, it won't be easy for Franklin in that one at all. Second and 12, 154 left. Gasparro, the quarterback keeper in the slide. A nice pickup by Gasparro, gets the penalty yardage back, and two more in a timeout call by Brockton. They have one left. It'll be third down and about three for the Panthers. A first down would seal the deal. 28-14. So timeout on the field, 145 left in the game. Franklin 28, Brockton 14. Well, Brockton's offense this season as a, a combined stat, the most points in the history of the program through the first eight games. And just coming to a complete halt once it dropped below 40 degrees for a game for the first time. <laughs> so after the timeout, the Panthers have it third and three from their own 38 yard line. They need to take it to the 41. Brockton with one timeout remaining. Gasparro in the spread formation. Hands it off, keeps it up the middle. 
Gasparro gets the first down. <laughs> Tom Gasparro on the quarterback keeper once again. We knew he had a great arm, Sam, but how about his pair of legs? Yeah, I mean, he the, the guy can run. I mean, what a great decision there. Takes it right down the gut for a first down, and that wraps up this game. All Frank will have to do is knee it twice, and they're moving on to the Division I South Championship game. Sounds pretty good for the Panther fans here. Brockton made a game of it. They were down 21-7, to scored in the or with a 69-yard play in the 67-yard play in the third quarter. Made it 21-14, but Franklin has added a touchdown and have protected its lead. First and 10, Gasparro again to the line. No, he won't get the line. He just protects the ball and falls down for a loss of three. Going back to that third quarter, guys, where we saw the, the four, five, six consecutive drives with fumbles recovered by the opposite team. We said back then that the, the team to first not make a fumble is yeah. going to be the team to pull it out in the end. Yeah. Franklin ended up being that team. They did punt, leading to that 69-yard score for Isaiah Laguerre. And they're going to go into victory formation here. One knee will do it for the Panthers, but it was a spirited effort, and what a wild third quarter that really it set was. up the end of this game. It really was, and Franklin won it. Franklin wins it. They're going to let it go down. Ten seconds to go. The Panthers celebrating. They'll go to the South Sectional Semifinals. They go to seven and two on the season. And for the boxers, they drop to five and four. But quite a game, guys, and you gotta give credit to the Panthers. They were down seven to nothing a long time ago. Three straight scores in the second period, one in the fourth to wrap it up. Yep, they didn't panic one bit. Just took a little while for them to get going like it like uh like the case was last week, but once they got going. They just took off from there. You know, Brockton did make it a game, as you said, in that third quarter, but in the end, the Panthers get the W and are moving on. Okay, so thanks a lot, Matt. Good working with you. Nice to meet you guys, finally, and yes. uh, it was a spirited effort for the Brockton Boxers. Obviously not the result they had hoped for. They get a long ride back down to uh, 495. Uh, Amik Waters in the senior, Isaiah Laguerre the senior. There's a lot of offense missing for the Brockton Boxers next year, and they're going to have to do really a lot to fill those giant holes on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, they're great players. Thank you, Matt Nelson. So on behalf of Matt Nelson up from Brockton to help us with the broadcast today and my partner Sam Reese. Pete Roy, stay tuned for our post-game show, but for now, the final score, Franklin 28 and Brockton 14.